What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so... Yeah, I know. Our last episode was pretty much a filler episode, but it, it needed to be done. Yeah. So in this episode right here, where are we? Oh, yeah, we're... We're in the other island, and uh, yeah, in this episode, we're going to be using quite a few of our newest Pokemon, or, you know, our old team, our old team members and all that stuff. I did mention that I was going to be using a lot of them and all that stuff, and from there, we're going to see who the final team will be once we get to the Pokemon League yet again. So, in this episode, I do want to use uh, Sage of the Halo right here, and uh, let's see... You know what, I do want to use my Hoenn Pokemon in this episode because it's mainly because, well, I did finish with these Pokemon nice and weak and all that stuff, and uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I should uh, boost up their strength. Now, we're going to be going up, we're going to be going north, in the next episode we're going to be sweeping and all that stuff. Um, yeah, we're going to be using all three of our teams and seeing what, what, what lies ahead and all that stuff. As you guys can see, Togepi is... Uh, you know, right here, and we're gonna take Hadouken and Vesuvius right here. And it has been a while since we've actually used these Pokemon, so it's pretty it's a pretty cool thing that we're doing right here. Now, the next thing that needs to happen is we need to move these items. So Poseidon obviously has the quick claw, and I need to give that to the slowest Pokemon that we have here. So that right there happens to be Vesuvius. The shell bell will go. It will indeed go to. Kind of want to give it to Dalsim because I remember. I seem to remember this Pokemon not being that strong. A magnet. Magnet obviously will be going to Raiden himself. And the Rose Incense. I'm gonna give that to our good old buddy Sage of the Halo. And the Dragon Fang. That <laughs> that obviously goes to. A Dukin right here, and the last thing, the experience share. I am going to give that to Joust because I remember from Pokemon uh, Emerald, he wasn't really doing that great when it came to like battling and all that stuff. Now, there are quite a few things that we need to cover, which, you know what? Let's go right ahead and see what we need to do first, okay? So here we are in the fight area, and what we're going to do now is, you know, I might as well buy some more... Uh, some more repels while we're at it because, uh, or some some more uh, revives because damn, we got our butts kicked. So take that much, and then full restores. We'll take some 20, and there we go. Okay, so we're gonna be going into the fight area and going into Route 213, and what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be getting some berries, and yes, throughout this whole episode, we're gonna be speeding up the whole thing because. It, by God, it's just, it's too much. It really is. It's too much, and this is the reason why I like, you know, I like it. I like speeding up the button and all that stuff. So, it looks like to me we need a Pokemon that, that needs Surf. So, what's going to happen is, yeah, we're going to be teaching our Pokemon quite a few moves that we've forgotten. And, Joust, you have learned your Surf attack. So, let's go right ahead and Surf away and see what kind of Pokemon we can actually take on. And Sage of the Halo is not going to really do much right here, but we do need to put on some repels because, yeah, this is uh, this is definitely going to be a place where, you know, there's going to be a lot of activity. And speaking of activity, there might be a double battle in it for us, so let's go right ahead and see what these people want. So let's go right ahead and battle everybody. And they both have Ice-type Pokemon, so let's go with that and Shockwave for that guy. And there goes one, and here comes the other one. Look at that, and who grew a level? Oh, Raiden finally grows a level! And here comes Mantine and Gastrodon, so these Pokemon are finally seeing some action right here. And Gastrodon getting its butt kicked, and here comes the Shockwave attack for the win. And yes, we are too grown up. We are grown men. And, well, let's go right ahead and beat this guy right here. Let's give him a grown man uh, butt whooping with the Hoenn Pokemon that we have right here. And he's got himself an artillery, so there we go. Screech attack does the trick. And here comes Poliwhirl. And let's give... Crap baskets. Let's give Raiden a bit of a love right here. And give him... Uh, let's go with Thunder. I want to use that. And there we go. Okay. Alrighty. So, yeah. We're kicking some butt. Taking some names. And it looks like we need a Rock Smash attack right here. So... 
Let's see. Rock Smash. I wish you were just a TM. We are going to give that... Let's give that to Vesuvius. Uh, no, actually, let's not. Let's not. Let's give this to... Hadouk? Dalsim? Okay, Dalsim probably did, did have a uh, Rock Smash, so... Let's go ahead and do this. And grab that. We got ourselves a blue shard. And wonder what's here. There's usually a hidden item. And here we found ourselves an Ultra Ball, which you know you could use for different things. You know, capturing some pretty interesting Pokemon. And I'm just breaking stones because I can. And there we go. Found ourselves another rare candy, which we can probably use. And there might be an item right here. No. Okay, so that's that, and let's go right ahead and just continue our adventure right here. Like I said, guys, we're going to be teaching our Pokemon some HM moves, and then after that, we're going to be deleting them and all that crud because, well, we're not set on who we want on our team. But it looks like to me that, like, whoever we choose, there's going to be minimal training and all that crud. And, uh, there we go, R level 62, and... Well, let's go ahead and give Hadouken a little, bit, a little bit of love. The only part is that we don't have fly attack, so yeah, we're probably going to have to give that to Hadouken. And, well, let's see. Yeah, we're, we're going to be battling everybody right here because why not? And please give me my attention. So here we have a love disc with a, yes, a uh, another move right here. And here comes Lapras. So let's give Raiden a bit of, of love right here too. So Thunder Attack nearly beats this Pokemon. And just like that, we win again. Now, if I wish to put in my Johto team, I think I can somehow. Probably, I don't even know. So here comes Corefish. Let's give somebody else love. So here we have Dulcim. High jump kick for the win. And here comes Kingler. And yeah, let's keep Dulcim right here. So let's go with that. And we crash. So Psychic Attack does the thing. And Guillotine, holy crud. Okay, so that was, wow, that was a first. Never mind. So is if if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know, guillotine or guillotine is a one hit KO move. It's very inaccurate, but once it hits, it's uh, it's lights out for the Pokemon that got hit by it. So let's go ahead and give that to Dalsim, and let's continue on our adventure right here into route whatever we are. And here we are in route 229. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna go down south and. Here we are in the resort area, and let's see, I've traveled a long way to make my beloved Pokemon even more beautiful. That will make it uh, love me more giggle. Okay, now the resort right here is home to a very, 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 very strong Pokemon, but it's not what you think. It really isn't what you think, and uh, you're going to be highly disappointed. So let's go right ahead and surf, and well... Talk to this person. Oh, how long, uh, or how high I long to become a member of the Ribbit Syndicate. My dearest Pokemon will be treated uh, with, dreamy, uh, with dreamy experiences. Okay. And if we talk to this guy, you know you can dig up cool stuff underground. That is true. Now, if you go up here, this guy is like, Psst, Hey, Trevor, yes, you. I want you to have this villa. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's not what you're thinking. This is no scam, see? In fact, you'll be doing me a favor. I see, I've given this villa, uh, I was given this villa, but to be honest, I don't need it either. So, don't say a word. Just not in this villa will be yours. Whew, that's a lot off my mind. The original owner was from Hoenn, see? The owner collected up, uh, collected up all the rare stones in Sinnoh and went back home. I somehow got settled with this place as if it were some gift. There's no figuring what uh, rich folks, uh, which ri what ri rich folks will think of next. Still, I thank you for helping me out. Come with me, won't you? Okay, so it looks like this used to be Stephen Stone's villa, and well, I guess I'm going to be living rent free here. The original owner's furniture is gone, and I didn't buy any. So yeah, I know it's barren. Still now, why not? But anyways, I feel like I feel kind of bad just imposing this place on you for nothing. I'll tell you what, order a table from this order form. That'll be my thanks to you. And there we go. And thank you for waiting. I'm delivering your order. I hope to, we hope to keep your ordering quality furnishings from us. Anyways, the furniture play service is great. They're real eager for business. Look, uh, look, they all left for another order form on the, on the table they delivered. Anyway, I'm finally rid of this villa thanks to you. Now I can go back traveling like I always wanted. 
Okay, and well, Barry sniffs us out, and he's gonna be like, Hey, Draven! You got yourself a villa too? Hoo hoo, that's wicked awesome. You must be rich. Give me something. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna tell everybody you got a villa. Seriously? Oh my god. So, yeah, you can decorate this place however you want. And, uh, well, as you guys can see, this is no cheap place. Like, I can't afford nothing. Oh my god, okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to step outside. And grab ourselves some berries right here, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and grab these berries right here, too. And grab these berries. Look at that. And grab these little berries, too. Okay, so... Let's see. There is a very, very strong Pokemon right here. Let's go right ahead and fish it out because you guys need to see this. This is some ridiculous stuff right here. So let's go right ahead and not do that. And go straight for the good rod. And, well, there we go. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so I got a little impatient. And come on. There we go. And we landed a Pokemon. Now, for some strange reason, the, the Magikarp here are super strong if you get the Super Rods. Now, this is not a very strong Magikarp. I, I seem to remember seeing one at level 87. So we're gonna have to move by right here. And, well, nobody believes me, but it looks at this resort. It's a hidden ruler in this area. You believe me. If you believe me, whip out your Super Rod and go fishing. Who knows? You might just catch them out. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we need a Super Rod and, well, we're not gonna be doing that just yet. So. Let's see, I think we need to go in here. There might be a guy that might give us something. Let's see. The best trainers from all over congregate at the Battle Frontier. It's not a limited to Sinnoh, no. Must be a happy achievement to be able to win with your favorite Pokemon you've caught yourself. Okay, and let's see. All I need is a, okay, he, he likes TV. And well, it looks like we're getting ourselves a marking TV or a marking something. And you see in every Pokemon, okay, never mind. So anywho, uh, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here. We will get to whatever it is that we need to do in a, in a later episode. So here we are taking on these trainers and we're gonna be getting some more battles right here. So here we have the ace trainers and as you guys can see, they are both at level 55. So let's go with this and let's go with a thunderbolt onto that guy and shadow sneak messes with us and well, we are slow for some reason and there we go and there it is, and well, Dusclops does not want to go home, so we're going to be going with a Shockwave attack right here, and just like that we defeat this guy, Leaf Blade does its trick, and here comes a Salamence. Now Salamence is a ridiculously strong Pokemon, so we're going to be switching it out and going with a Thunder Wave just to make sure this Pokemon is paralyzed, and Aerial Ace doesn't do anything, so let's go straight for a Dragon Claw, and just like that, we have defeated our opponent, and Joss is growing to level 53, which is great. So, let's go right ahead and, well, see the Pokemon that we're looking at, and here we are looking at a, a Volbeat. Now, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Joss. Joss needs some, some love, too. And, well, we're going to take on the Lumise. Illumise, or whatever you guys like to call it. And there we go. And let's go right ahead and continue our adventure by grabbing all these goodies right here. And we found ourselves a full restore. Found ourselves a trainer. Let's go right ahead and battle. And here she's coming out with a Doug Trio, so this is pretty good for us. And just like that, we get our first victory with Joust. So let's go with Vesuvius going up against Raichu right here. And let's go with Earthquake Attack. And just like that, we defeated this guy. Let's continue it on. Earthquake attack for the win, and Vesuvius grows a level 52. Yes, the adventures continue right here. Okay, and the heck? Okay, so this is the nugget guy? Yes, we, we got ourselves a nugget. Okay, cool. And he's going to give us two nuggets. Okay. So, I'm looking at something right here. Probably should turn around and see. Maybe if I go right here... Tree looks like a oh wow, there's a cut tree. Okay, so like I said, I was gonna teach some of the Pokemon some different kind of you know HMs and all that stuff just so I can get by. And it looks like to me, Sage will be able to learn cut, so let's just go ahead and do that. And here's the cut technique and grab ourselves a Reaper Cloth that right there can be used to be uh, for a Dusclops. Yes, a Dusclops, yeah, I think that's the name of the Pokemon, Dusclops. 
you can actually evolve into the snore and stuff. And well, let's grab this. And here we found ourselves a protein. And well, let's see, there is another item right here. So let's go right and serve. And here we found ourselves a thunderstone. So this is actually this is actually a very good treasure hunt right here. And well, let's see. Is there anything else besides these meteorites and all that crud? Let's see. Oh, we can go right here too. Yes, this place is abundant with a lot of stuff. Yes, I'm using big words. There we go, and there we go, and there it is. And let's go right ahead and not do that. Max repel, and let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so the next area we have to go to is up north, and that right there, I believe, is where it's, it gets a little sandy and all that crud. So let's go right ahead, and here we are, Route 228. And yes, everything is going to, there's a sandstorm just brewing right here, and you're going to need your bike for everything right here. So what's going to happen is we're going to be battling, and we're going to make sure that, you know, most of our Pokemon level up and all that crud. Now, Delcaddy is going to mess us up. Let's go with Vesuvius since it is a ground type Pokemon and it won't be affected by this. And wow, we are getting messed up right here. So let's go with Dulcim. I jump kick will do the trick. And well, Obama Snow is going to be coming out. It would have been nice to actually use one of our Pokemon right here, you know, Vesuvius. So can't use Hadouken. Crap baskets. Okay, so Hadouken. You you are being attacked by this guy, so let's go ahead and get the get this guy all healed up and everything. Holy buckets! Okay, so I knew this was ha it was gonna happen right here. So let's go with Vesuvius. Razor Leaf's gonna mess us up, and let's go straight for Vesuvius. Ice Shard hits us but doesn't affect us, and here we go with an eruption. God dang it! Okay, so this guy is really messing with us. Let's go with the Screech attack. Wow! Okay, so yeah, we are we are on the ropes right here. Okay, Hadouken. And let's go with a crunch attack. That will win us a match right here. Holy crud. Okay, so <laughs> Holy crud, okay. Yeah, we, we definitely need to We definitely need a holy crap, okay. Holy crap. We need to we definitely need to to train up our Pokemon just a little bit more. Our Hoenn Pokemon because God, it got beaten up by one freaking uh, bomb of snow right here. And, well, let's go with this guy. That guy. And go back to the full restores. And that guy. Okay, so we're back. And there's nothing right there. So let's go right ahead and just, uh, let's complete this regular area first before we start going on the slopes. And here we found ourselves the TM-37, which is Sandstorm. And, well, before we do anything, let's get a good combination going right here. Let's go with Hadouken and Vesuvius. And now that we're now that we're on the subject right here, I probably should I probably should use a fly onto Hadouken and well let's get it. These guys want to battle us and they want to you know they want to beat us badly. And it looks like to me that I have a very good idea of what to do right here. So there we go. Fly attack, eruption, hits both Pokemon. And Joss grows to level 54. Metal Burst destroys us. God dang. Earthquake attack. And wow. Wow, these are the... Oh, wow. Okay, so let's get it. All right. This is what we wanted. We wanted this. Dragon Claw to that guy. This guy's got Steel Tap Pokemon, but Leaf Blade is going to do this. And there we go. And Dragon Claw does that. And, well, we get hit with both. And, wow, they look like they got a good combination of Pokemon right here. So let's go right here with the Leaf Blade, Marowak. Eat this. That's right. And let's go with that. And that. Okay, so there we go. And there it is. We have defeated both Pokemon Rangers. Good gravy. So yes, it's looking like it's looking like we're we're gonna be having a fun few episodes with our, our our original teams and stuff. Well, it's gonna be easy for it's gonna be easy for our what you might call our Kanto team because they're like overpowered like nobody's business. And well, let's see, 
First is first. Let's go right ahead and talk to this person right here. And, well, let's see. So your quest for power has brought you here. Very well. Let me reward your passion with some absolutely uh, astounding moves. They're the ultimate moves. Shall I teach them to your Pokemon? And, uh, well, this guy will be able to teach only the starter type Pokemon uh, the ultimate moves. And, unfortunately, oh, actually, it's not him. What about dragon type? Okay. Let's see. Pokemon that can't learn the moves. What the hell? Ultimate moves, blazing. Um, the hell? It can learn the moves. What the hell? Okay, so I'm teaching that. I'm not bonded. Okay, so we're not bonded strongly. Holy crud. Okay, so. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, let's go right here. And start breaking some boulders, grabbing some items. And there we go. We found ourselves a shed shell. That right there, I think, prolongs a move somewhere. I don't even know. And we're grabbing this little sucker. And that is an iron. And, well, let's go right ahead, and, well, we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be grabbing a whole bunch of stuff, so let's go right ahead and get on our bike right here, and get attacked by everybody known to man, and this guy's going to have, like, a dragon-type Pokemon, I just know it, so let's just go ahead and just destroy his Vibrabra, and there we go, Vibrabra defeated, and it's looking like a Dukens might, might just make it the team or something, and, well, God dang it. Okay, so there we go. Stubby fingers. God dang it. Damn it. There we go. Okay. So now... God dang it! Oh my god. Okay, so there we go. And... Right here... Let's be safe about this because I have a... F okay, there we go. And... Break this little sucker. And... Let's go right here. Before we go down there, let's go right here, and here we're going to be finding ourselves a shiny stone, which, you know, can be used to evolve a certain, a specific Pokemon that you may want. I believe it's the one that I just used. Okay, so let's see. There we go. God dang it. And there we go. And here, we're going to be finding some more berries, some tomato berries. All right, I'm getting off the bike right here. How do I get off the bike? There we go. All right, here we go. Hondu berries, how's it going? Let's grab this guy, a tomato berry, and let's grab this little sucker, another Hondu berry, and there we go. Okay, so who's next for the battle? And here we go, taking on a Zatu, and this guy's at level 56, so let's go straight for a crunch attack, and that right there does us. And let's go straight to Vesuvius and go for an eruption, and god dang it. And, well, it's looking like to me that we're going to lose this one right here because... Okay, so I guess we're winning, and this guy is just protecting the crud out of itself. And, well, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. There's no sense of losing this game, and there we go. Sandstorm comes through for us, and Joust grows to level 53. Should probably give this item... Actually, I should probably give this item to somebody else that can actually use it. So let's go ahead and grab that. Wow, we are... Okay, so where in the heck is... Where in the heck is my, my item? There we go. Experience share, give that. Let's go ahead and give that to our good old buddy Raiden because it doesn't look like to me we're going to be using him right here. And... Oh, let's see. Let's see, there might be an item right here somewhere. Somewhere here. Damn it, come on. There, there, there should be an item. Nothing. Okay. I could be wrong. And what if we go down here? We're going to be finding ourselves some other Pokemon, like Hippodon. This is actually the place where you can't find that Pokemon. And if you go in here, talk to this gentleman. He's like, that badge is from Sunny Shore's Gym. You've been to that poor town, then. Would, would you lend an ear to this old man's tale? Uh, no, I don't want to burden your your ears, but my grandson grew up in that city by the sea. Worn out by trying to live up to his parents' expectations, he found refuge in uh, tinkering with machines. I wonder even now if I should have taken him in should have taken him in and raised him myself. Though, I'm not certain if that would have been a good choice or not. Or not. I don't think anyone could say. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said any of this to you. So, of course, he's talking about Cyrus. And, uh, well... 
that could happen, you know, when your parents are, you know, overbearing or they have major expectations. Obviously, you know, my family, my parents had major expectations for me and my sister and my brother. But I could I could definitely say that I was like I wasn't really much of a good student until I started playing sports. My sister was always a good student, but of course the expectations were like high and stuff. So I I do I do see I do see what happens when, you know, parents' expectations are too high and it's never enough. So, yeah, that's probably what happens with the whole uh, Cyrus thing right there. And I'm trying to get up here. God dang it. There we go. Okay, so let's go right ahead and get the F out of here because, god dang, so much sand. There might be sand in my bum or something like that. Now, there is, there is a cavern right in here. And you can grab yourselves a hard stone. Eventually, once you get into the Reggie's uh, event, one of the Reggie's will be located into this particular area. And, well, there we are. And now we got a battle. And, yes, we're going to be battling this guy. And he's going to be having himself a gold duck. So let's go with the crunch attack right here. And... Well, let's see. Sandstorm's coming out, and he's coming out with a main neck trick. So let's go straight for Sage of the Halo and give one more Leaf Blade. And just like that, we win this match. Raiden, gross level 53. And I'm going to continue it on right here. Probably should have, uh, let's see, status healers. And actually, screw it. Let's go switch Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for Joust now that it's a little stronger. And good gravy. Yep. And there we go. We have defeated another trainer, and, well, we got to heal up our Pokemon, too, because, god dang, it has been a match. There we go, and god dang it. And there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this whole thing up right here. Grab this item, and we have found ourselves a protector, which many of you guys don't know. Or if you do know, um, protector is actually the, the item needed to evolve uh, right on into Rhyperior. So, yeah. Anywho, we're going to stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to make a full circle into the battle area. And then from there, we will see what happens. So, thank you guys again for being supportive. Thank you guys again for watching my episodes. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walker. See you guys.